Hey everyone, Regal Reviews here. It is White Rice Wednesday, which means time for my Survivor recap. So, to recap on tonight's episode, you know, they're basically dealing with the vote out of Justine last week, and now Dwight doesn't trust Jesse anymore because I think he, like, he didn't tell him what was going on or he didn't vote with him, so now Jesse's more of a threat now. And... I think it was like a big move on Jesse's part, but it, it it's too early in the game to be making that big of a move. What was interesting is that Gabler actually found out that Ellie and Janine went into his bag. And he found out because Owen told, was well, Sammy told, Sammy told him, yes. And because it, what happened was Ellie... And Janine weren't sure if Gabler knew his idol was still in effect. So, you know, they were trying to get information out of him. Turns out it's still in effect. And he was very well aware of that. And they were trying to play him. But he's, you know, too smart for that. So he knew what they were doing right away. On the Blue Tribe, you have uh, James's birthday. And, you know, I think it's really sweet. I mean, it's really hard, you know, when you're away from home on special occasions, let alone your birthday. I mean, that's, I mean, I've been away myself, um, on an internship away from my family and I, I, you know, it's hard when you're away from them. So the fact, you know, they threw James a little birthday celebration, they even made a bracelet. It was, it was great. I thought that was very nice. Bracelets comes in handy because they mentioned, James mentions how he wants to go looking for an idol. I'm like, why would you tell them you're going to look for an idol? I mean, I don't get why these people tell, I'm going to look for an idol. I'm going to look for an advantage. I have an advantage. You know, I don't get that. But Carla goes to look and she finds in a tree of all places. And it's a beware advantage. So she knows from season 41 and 42 what a beware advantage is. So she actually does a survivor first and actually leaves the beware advantage where it is. And I'm like, I literally in 43 seasons of survivor have never seen anybody put something back. Like I've seen somebody like hide their advantage or an idol, but the fact that just put it right back, I'm like, wow, that's a bold move. But when it's a beware advantage, I mean, it could go against you. You don't know how hard it's going to be. So then Carla was trying to get information from James as to what should she, what would he do in the situation about idols or advantages. And she came to the decision that she needs to go back and get it. And it's the same from Gabler's, was it, no, not Gabler's, um, Cody's, how he, she has to get a bead from every single person at camp. And I immediately thought, well, this is going to be way easier for Carla because they were already making a bracelet for for James. So all the mater materials are right there and everyone was easy. The only one that wasn't easy to give a bead for was Ryan. But I have to give Carla credit. Like, she is a freaking queen. Like, she, you know, some people she knew was going to be easy to give a, them her bead. Give, she was, they would give them her their beads to her. And... Eventually, she, like, started to bargain, like, I'll give you my earring for a bead. Or Ryan was like, no, I like this. But then she remembered, and again, this is where a social game comes in, that his girlfriend's looking for tur turquoise things. He's looking to take a turquoise thing home for his girlfriend. So she traded him um, her turquoise beads for that. So I'm like, no. so now Carla and Gabler have idols. So Carla is a freaking queen. Like, that move alone, the fact that she put an idol back says a lot but then add the fact now she has an idol and now she's the second person to now have an idol three third person because cody has an idol too and cody not gabler because he had um got the, got it a different way but i have to give cody and carla credit because they both had to get the beads because keep in mind they just can't steal them the fact they were able to do that i'm like wowza so I'm wondering if the third person who finds the Beware Advantage can accomplish that. Not sure. We'll have to see. So, we get to, before we get to the immunity challenge, um, Ellie's starting to rub people the wrong way, obviously from what I just said. But then, the fact that she 
is coming across as, I wouldn't say self-righteous, but like pretend like she knows everyone and is buddy-buddy for everyone and is starting to piss Sammy off. So I'm like, ooh, she better watch because th there's that and the fact she's, she's known to go through people's bags. I'm like, and NECA shared um, information how she, you know, is through her ministry, works through the ministry and helps with this charity and that's very honorable to help with that and i would assume if not all her money all she's a lot of her prize money if she wins is going to go toward that charity so i have to give her a lot of credit so the immunity challenge they had to it was a lot of diving like they had to dive and go in the water they had to climb up a crate dive in to get a key and then they had to solve this turtle puzzle and the turtle puzzle was so freaking cool and I have to give Noelle credit, the fact, you know, she's um, an amputee and she swam with just one leg. I mean, I could barely swim myself, but the fact that she was able to do it with one leg, I mean, that's amazing. Like, Noelle is an inspiration to everybody out there. And Yellow blew it out of the park, and it was, it was very close. So it looked like it was going to be close there for a while, but then what happens on Red NECA is on the puzzle, and like last week, how she's just walking up to the when they're trying to pull the snake, she's just walking on the side and then just taking a break on the puzzle. Well, what is she doing? She's standing there and like just watching them do the puzzle. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me right now? So, Blue ended up coming in second, and they won f and they won fr um, fruit, something else I don't remember, da, 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 da. Fr fruit basically. But, yeah, I'm like, at first, I wasn't sure who'd be going home. I thought, Jesse's definitely going to be on the chopping block, so what happened last vote? If Neck is not on the chopping block, I have no clue where these people's minds are at. So, um, they had to, Yellow had to choose who to go on a journey. So, they chose Noelle from the red team. On the blue team, they chose James. And on their own team, they chose Owen. And they all figured that since Noelle's going to the tribal council, that she needs she needs the she needs the advantage. So they decide to keep to keep their vote safe, and she risks her vote. So she gets back to camp, and she's telling people that oh, I I chose to keep my vote safe so I have nothing but then what does she do she goes and tells Dwight hey I've got an advantage again don't know why these people are telling I've got an advantage I've got an idol but apparently it's to steal a vote advantage so she gets to steal a vote from somebody thus she gets an extra vote so that could potentially be a big move because they could easily for conversation sake take the vote from Jesse he doesn't get to vote at tribal council so Noelle would get to vote twice then so the names that are coming up, obviously Jesse, like I said, NECA's coming up because of her second screw up on the puzzle. She screwed up last week. She screwed up this week. And like I mentioned before, it when you volunteer for a challenge, you have to take accountability if you cause the team to lose. She didn't participate last week. I mean, you literally saw her just walk in on the side when her team's struggling to carry these big blocks. And just taking a break on the puzzles. It's like, come on, people. But they're also thinking, well, she's also part of an alliance. And they want to remain loyal. And they're trying to debate, do we want to remain tribe strong? Or do we want to be alliance strong? Then also Noelle's name came up. And I literally don't know why. I think maybe just because she's a threat. I mean... I feel like she's being underestimated because she's an amputee. And even they said that the fact um, she's doing so well in challenges that that's out of their minds now. So I'm very curious going in the tribal council who Noelle's going to do the steal a vote on. So we get to tribal council and everybody seems too confident. And you don't want to have a case of overconfidence going in the tribal because that's when you get screwed over. And... They're also talking about accountability and the challenges of NECA. I mean, she might have been a screw up in the puzzle challenges, but she owned it. And I can respect that. She owned it and said, you know, I screwed up. This has happened. And, you know, and talking about 
Noel Noel and her story again and they all said how confident they are except for Noel and I thought oh this is when she's going to reveal she has an advantage but she didn't and I'm thinking why would you not do that but somebody said at tribal that mentioned how Noel went on the journey and if she were it's about they're trying to base a vote on loyalty at the moment and they said if somebody were to pull out an item or an advantage that might determine our vote tonight so I'm thinking to myself okay it makes total sense why she didn't play it tonight and apparently how the vote went she didn't need to because NECA got voted off and nice girl I don't have any problems of her other than the fact that she sucks in the challenges so at this point in the game you know on one hand you want to keep your alliance but at the same time if you're continuing lo to lose over one person you need to cut them loose like it just makes no sense to keep them so now red's at a disadvantage because blue has all their members yellow has five and they're down to four so that'll make it interesting that'll make it interesting come the immunity challenges and next week is another survivor first it looks like i'm gonna assume it's the immunity challenge that jeff says whoever wins gets to steal something from one of the other tribes camps and i'm like oh my freaking god like what are the options and what exactly could they steal like could they steal could they potentially steal like an advantage from somebody could they steal like a tarp or like i don't believe they have any comfort items yet they didn't get to that kind of reward but could they steal something like fishing gear? I mean, I guess we'll see last week the specific. I mean, next week the specifics. But the fact that that's even on the table, I'm like, that's going to be interesting. So I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's Survivor. If you want to catch Survivor, it is on Wednesdays, 8 p.m. on CBS. And you can stream it live on Paramount+. Plus. So until next week, stay regal.